celebrating World Photography Day, how George Eastman brought photography to the masses. And an iconic home from a popular movie is now off limits to fans. Matt Malloy here with our Digital Desk. Hey guys, busy day on the Digital Desk. We'll start with the Ashley Madison hack. We mentioned it earlier. Well, look at this. The number two trending topic on Twitter today because of that hack. 36 million customers affected. The dump includes email addresses, partial credit card information, even street names and phone numbers, and some 15,000 emails appear to be government accounts. Here's something interesting now. A website not affiliated with the hack has been set up where you can actually put in information, an email and a phone number, to see if you are actually part of that hack and your data has been released. It's checkashleymadison.com. It launched today. Again, you can check to see if a phone number or email has, is included in that hack. Now to that popular tourist spot shut down. This is in Astoria, Oregon. It's now off limits. We're talking about the house from the popular film Goonies. Remember the 1985 film? It's now a cult classic. Well, this house draws tourists every year. The homeowners actually welcomed fans, even sometimes opening the house to them. But it got to be too much for the homeowners and the neighborhood. Here's why. This summer, more than 1,000 people a day were showing up to see this house. The city now trying to limit access to give the homeowner and the neighbors a break from the constant fanfare. And trending at number one today on Twitter, World Photography Day. Not a better place to celebrate than right here in Rochester, the home of George Eastman. They shared his picture online today, wishing everyone a happy World Photography Day from the home of George Eastman, the pioneer of popular photography. Here's a little insights on his impact. George Eastman was an innovator. He took something that was difficult to do and made it simple. Uh, in some ways, very similar to what Bill Gates did with, with the computer. Before George Eastman, you'd, you'd have a photograph made maybe once or twice in your lifetime. It was a very expensive thing to do. George Eastman made this simple so anybody could do it. Kind of cool when you think about the impact he's had. Some viewer photos for you today from Facebook in celebration of World Photography Day. Haley posting this picture from the Millsite Lake in Redwood, New York. Here's a picture from Elaine in... That's Fairhaven Beach State Park, a gorgeous shot there. And one more for you of downtown in High Falls there in Rochester. Beautiful shot from Kathy on yeah. Facebook. Some good stuff today. And it really is cool looking back at the history of George Eastman. Uh, we obviously all know he's from Rochester, yeah. but when you really look at the true impact of it and how much we take advantage of our cameras on our phones now, just think how that all came about. And yeah. not to mention his philanthropy. Right. Yes, the huge impact here. All right, Thanks, thank you, Matt. Yep.